Hello trainers, Ganeto here and today we're diving together into Open Great League with not one, not two, but three ground types in a single line. So today's content is kind of different but I think you are gonna enjoy it a lot because this team is gonna get you a lot of handy wins and perhaps this is the best team that exists right now on Great League. So Gligar up in front, double mud boy at the back and you can already see how you can play this team because we're having a Swambert non shadow with Sludge Wave as a safe switch and an aggressive switch to draw out a Zoomaril, to draw out a Grass type so that you can have even a chance up against those counters of yours with a simple Sludge Wave. As you can see here, we still managed to get the knockout on the Azumarill after that weird matchmaking and of course right after we're gonna have the upper hand up against the Toxic Rock which now learns the move Shadow Ball with our Mud Bomb. So into the next battle now and we're having Azumarill up in front. Nightmare lead for our Gligar but hopefully at the back they have a Pokemon like a fighter so we can easily manipulate that towards our advantage with Swampert. So as you can see here we are not using a Shadow Swampert and that is mainly because I want to have some extra bulk on this already glassy team. I'd rather have a glassy closer than a glassy safe switch that's why my Quagsire is on Shadow while Swampert is gonna remain as a non Shadow Pokemon. So over here we still manage to get the shield out of them and another Hydro Cannon is coming up. So perhaps here we, we can get the chance to get both of them shields out of play while we can easily go in now with our Quaxar start doing some solid work. I decide to block, they end up going for the big nook, the Hydro Pump, at the back there is the Town of Flame. So let's get now to the Stone Edge to knock out immediately that Pokemon out of existence and now that amazing Mad Bomb to grab the victory up against this trainer who had a pretty strong team but Quaxire doesn't care at all. Into the next battle now and let's see what the next opponent is gonna offer because they're having a Sableye which is a pretty safe lead for them overall. So at the back we can definitely expect something like an anti-charmer, something like a steel type or whatever so mad boys can absolutely do the trick over here. Once again I'm gonna switch out aggressively to my Swambert. We can get one shield getting that one shield scenario of, uh, for both ends at this point and they can get now to the return to destroy down my Swampy. With that in mind, we're just gonna return into the battle with our Gligar and one dig will most likely do the trick here, but they managed to block for the second time. You know what, I might block as well because as it seems, my opponent is kinda afraid of those ground types and let's see why they are so, because another dig is imminent and now we're kinda uh, forcing them to use their final Pokemon. So they have now Medicham coming into the fight up against my Gligar and I'm feeling super comfortable here, able to it's to a double RLS before they get to their own ice punch. Down goes Medicham. At the back, there is Bassedon. So that's why they did not switch out at all. And we can get that victory. Into the next battle now, trainers. And we're having a Skarmory up in front. So this Pokemon is pretty bad for my Gligar. Okay, but the backline can somehow make up for it because now Steel Wing is gonna be resisted by the water typing of the Mud Boys. So here comes now another Hydro Cannon before they reach to a weird move and finish us off. And right after, we can go ahead, let that next move go through. It is gonna be the Ice Punch, not gonna be enough to faint us down. And one last attempt with the Hydro Cannon to grab that final shield out of play. So now Gligar can easily go in, tank one Ice Punch. I know that we are not gonna need that much of our Gligar into this game and right after we have to respect the damage from the next ice punch because we can get out of here with more than a dig worth of energy so here comes now the dig on that flyer i know that's a weird saying but still it makes sense trust me anything else you're gonna throw like uh, an air lace or a wing attack is still gonna be resisted on that skarmory and after that dig i can hope that we can have the upper hand with quaxair on the end game so all i have to do here is to reach to the mud bomb i was trying to feign down this Pokemon but they can still survive because Vigoroth is such a beast and at this point this body slamming combination with a few counters is gonna put us at a miserable position. So here comes now my Stone Edge for almost the nook up against that Pokemon. All we have to do here is to reach the next charge attack but unfortunately we cannot ride on time so Skarmor is gonna take out not only our Gligar but also our Quagsire. 
into the next battle now and we're having Tal of Lame up in front. This Pokemon is pretty troublesome uh, for our Gligar as well but once again the back line is gonna come into this matchup for the rescue. So here comes now the Sludge Wave on the Trevenant and they still manage to block. Who does that nowadays? So anyways now Seed Bomb on my Pokemon and we're gonna respond back at them with our Gligar. I am in no mood at blocking here. I'm just gonna go all in with my Gligar trying to destroy down this Trevenant with no shields at all and right after I know that we can still almost uh, push uh, to the limits this Pokemon because we're having the RLAs to put that uh, Talonflame at a pretty difficult position and if we can block here something like a Brave Bird which we can, we can still reach to the knockout move with a simple Mud Bomb. Look at that, absolutely wonderful. At the back now the Heavy Growth so it's all up to my Quag here to do some swag and absolutely absolutely grab me, grab me uh, that victory. Uh, good news here is that they need 5 for the first, 5 for the second bot slam, while we need 5 for the first but only 4 for the second mud bomb. This can put us on the advance and especially here that we can catch the next bot slam with the clutch switch on our Gligar. I was counting their moves, I knew that they had 11, uh, 11 counters worth of energy so that means that they had 2 bot slams and 1 more extra uh, counter so I was expecting them to go ahead and throw back to back moves that's why I managed to catch over here into the next battle now and we're having Frostlass up in front this Pokemon is pretty troublesome of course being a nice type for Gligar so the backland can somehow have to do some solid work so as you can see here they are just gonna throw the first uh, move I am gonna take it because this is a regular uh, Swambert not even a Shadow we can survive one but right after after they will snipe us down to that uh, farm down with Meganium. Unfortunately for me I cannot get to that sludge wave right on time, just one more turn, this is all I need perhaps to. And here comes now the RLAs to finish off that poor Meganium out of existence. So it's all up to the Quagsire, let's see now what they have as their third Pokemon, because this is all dependent on what they might have at the back. Unfortunately for, for us they have a Gridden, so yeah those mud bombs are not gonna be enough to finish off of this Pokemon. So here comes now the Stone Edge for bigger damage on that Gridden and all we have to do here is to expect the unexpected. No Trailblaze, just the Body Slam, not gonna fall for that I'm pretty sure and now we have to block the next move for sure. So here comes now the block on the Body Slam, able to, quad, to catch once again for back to back battles on our Gligar and we can somehow reach here to that Mud Bomb to finish off that uh, shield and of course the Stone Edge for the Nook. Unfortunately for us we're gonna fall short here to the Frostless matchup so that is kind of a big bummer for our team into the next battle now trainers and we're having a lantern on the lead so this pokemon is always troublesome uh, because of surf but overall we have triple ground so eventually we're gonna be just fine so here comes now superior with its amazing bulk but to be fair we can still get almost the knockout up against them and that makes them throw the remaining energy that they had after that that first large wave landing on them so frezzy plant now on my Gligar it doesn't matter at all I know I can survive one with his and right after we can respond with a dig on the lantern no shield at all now the switch to my quagsire and at the back they have a ton of flame so i'm gonna press here the stone edge on the cmp i know i could go for some extra moves but they're gonna use fly and of course right after my stone edge will connect because they are not gonna expect it at all so it's all up to their lantern to do some solid gold of course i want to get both of them shields out of the way so that then my Gligar might actually have the upper hand or just go with a triple mud bomb but I think they can outspeed to the double surf let's see if that is possible because another mud bomb is imminent and here comes now the surf so this is a race now to the second charge attack can we get there to our third one and yes we can trainer Squagsire for the swaggy win and we're gonna take this victory to end this video thank you for watching trainers and for staying till the end just be sure to leave a huge like before you go subscribe to the channel if you are new to my content and with that said i have two videos for you to check out feel free to check them out and i will see you all into the next one